Welcome to video number 4 for chapter 1 of Maths 2 Standard 9. We are discussing practice set 1.2. So let us continue. Question 1. The following table shows points on a number line and their coordinates. Decide whether the pair of segments given below the table are congruent or not. The first is segment DE and AB. The coordinate of point D is negative 7 and the coordinate of point E is 9. We know that 9 is greater than negative 7. Therefore, length DE is equal to 9 minus negative 7 which is equal to 9 plus 7. The answer is 16. Now, the coordinate of A is negative 3 and B is 5. We know that 5 is greater than negative 3. Therefore, length AB is equal to 5 minus negative 3, which is equal to 5 plus 3. The answer is 8. If you see 16 and 8 is not the same, since length DE is not equal to length AB, so segment DE is not congruent to segment AB. Next is we have to find length BC and length AD. The coordinate of B is 5 and C is 2. We know that 5 is greater than 2. Therefore, length BC is 5 minus 2. Answer is 3. Coordinates of A is minus 3 and D is minus 7. Minus 3 is greater than minus 7. Therefore, length AD is equal to minus 3 minus of minus 7 which is equal to minus 3 plus 7 the answer is 4 you can clearly see 3 and 4 are not equal since length BC is not equal to length AD so segment BC is not congruent to segment AD the third one we have to find length BE and length AD coordinate of B is 5 and E is 9 9 is greater than 5. Length BE is 9 minus 5 which is 4. Coordinate of A is minus 3 and D is minus 7. Minus 3 is greater than minus 7. Length AD is minus 3 minus minus 7 which is equal to minus 3 plus 7. The answer is 4. This 4 and this 4 are the same. Since length BE is equal to length AD so segment BE is congruent to segment AD. Question number 2 M is the midpoint of segment AB if AB is 8 find length of AM. This figure is given for our reference M is the midpoint of AB that means AM is equal to MB. So, AM would be half of AB. So, that is what we are going to, that is how we are going to solve now. Length AB is equal to 8. Since M is midpoint of segment AB, then length AM is half of length AB. Therefore, AM is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 4. So, length of AM is equal to 4. Question number 3. Point P is the midpoint of segment CD. If CP is equal to 2.5, find length CD. Now, CD is the given segment. CP is half of CD as P is the midpoint. So we have length CP given to us as 2.5. Since P is midpoint of CD, then length CP is half of length CD. If CP is half, that means CD would be twice of CP. Therefore, length CD is equal to 2 multiplied by length CP, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 2.5. The answer is 5. So the length of CD is 5. 
Question number four. If AB is equal to five centimeters, BP is equal to two centimeters, and AP is equal to three point four centimeters, compare the segments. We have length AB is equal to five centimeters, length BP is equal to two centimeters, and length AP is equal to three point four centimeters. Now clearly, if you see, five is greater than three point four. And that in turn is greater than two. Therefore, length AB is greater than length AP, and that is greater than length BP. Now we replace lengths by segments. Segment AB is greater than segment AP is greater than segment BP. Question number five. Write the answers of the following questions. With reference to the given figure, the figure is mentioned here. It's a number line with certain coordinates. Write the names of the ray opposite to ray R P. The answers are mentioned here. Again, the figure is given to you for reference. Question again: Names of ray opposite to ray R P. Ray R P is ray R S or ray R T. Second question: Write the intersection set of ray P Q and ray R P. Intersection set of ray P Q and ray R P. Intersection set of ray P Q and ray R P is ray P Q. If you see, it's overlapping. So ray P Q. Next question. Write the union set of ray P Q and ray Q R. Union set of ray P Q and ray Q R is ray Q R. Ray P Q and Ray Q R, the intersection set means includes all would be Ray Q R. State the rays of which segment Q R is a subset. State the rays of which segment Q R is a subset. Ray Q R itself and Ray R Q. There are many others, etc. Ray, for example, Ray Q R and Ray R Q. Write the pair of opposite rays with common endpoint R. Write the pair of opposite rays with common endpoint R. A few examples: Ray R Q. Ray R T, so Ray R Q, Ray R T. With all the points, you can write the various examples. In your notebook, you can write the other examples as well. Write any two rays with common endpoints S, S. So we have S T. And S R. Again, here there are other examples also. Write the intersection set of ray S P and ray S T. Intersection set of ray S P and ray S T. S T and S P. What is common is only point S. Hence, the answer is point S. Question number six. Answer the questions with the help of a given figure. Again, the figure is given over here. State the points which are equidistant, equidistant from point B. 
that is first one. Now let's start. The coordinates of B and C are 2 and 4 respectively. We know that 4 is greater than 2. Therefore, distance BC would be 4 minus 2, that is 2. Now, the coordinates of point B and A, B and A, is 2 and 0 respectively. We know that 2 is greater than 0. So, distance BA would be 2 minus 0, which is equal to 2. Now, let's see other examples. Now, since distance, this is 2 and this is 2. So, since distance BA is equal to distance BC, that means point A and C are equidistant from point B. That means A and C are at, are at equal distance from B. Let's see another example. Now, the coordinates of B and D. B and D is 2 and 6. We know that 6 is greater than 2. Therefore, length BD would be 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4. We take another point B and P. The coordinate is 2 and negative 2. We know that 2 is greater than negative 2. Therefore, distance BP would be 2 minus negative 2 which is equal to 2 plus 2. The answer is 4. If you see 4 and 4 is the same, that means distance BD is equal to distance BP and points D and P are equidistant from, equidistant from point B. That is the first answer. The next is write a pair of points equidistant from Q. Now we take Q. Again, the figure is mentioned here. The coordinates of points Q and U. We take Q and U. Okay, the coordinates are minus 4 and minus 5 respectively. We know that minus 4 is greater than minus 5. Therefore, distance QU is minus 4 minus of minus 5 which is equal to minus 4 plus 5. The answer is 1. Now, next points which we take are Q and L. So, see students, certain points are not mentioned, but if you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and here 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on. So, we know that negative 3 is greater than negative 4. Therefore, distance QL would be minus 3 minus of minus 4 minus 3 plus 4. The answer is 1. This and this is equal. That means Distance QU is equal to distance QL. Then points Q and L are equidistant from Q. The next we take is point Q and point R. And the other set is Q and P. So let's begin with Q and R. Their coordinates are minus 4 and minus 6. Minus 4 is greater than minus 6. Therefore distance QR is equal to minus 4 minus minus 6 which is equal to minus 4 plus 6 answer is 2 and the next set is q and p coordinate are minus coordinates are minus 4 and minus 2 we know that minus 2 is greater than minus 4 therefore distance qp is equal to minus 2 minus of minus 4 minus 2 plus 4 2 answer is 2 if you see this and this is the same, that means the points R and P are equidistant from Q. Students, this is all for now. We will continue in next video.